All right. Welcome to our first official NBA Finals episode of The Hedge with Double D. The Hedge with Double D. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, we're excited. We got the NBA Finals starting tonight. I got Colin with me here joining me for the first segment. Colin, how you doing? Thank you for joining me. I'm good, man. I'm good. It's the finals. It's finals week. It's it's a good good time for sports, man. It is, man. It's exciting. Um, and then we got the NHL finals coming up this weekend, but we'll talk about that later. Today is all about Celtics Nuggets. You wish. I wish. <laughs> I wish. It's all about the Nuggets in the Heat game one. Um, speaking of the Celtics, did you see Missoula is coming back for another year? Yeah, I kind of thought that would happen with since Brad Stevens at the helm. He is a coach after all first, and I think that he warranted, you know, giving them another year, I guess. I think it would have been interesting if they would have gotten swept. Would that have actually, you know, been different? I'm, yeah, that would think. be. Yeah, I don't know. Because, yeah, it, he did kind of save himself, you say. You know, he made plenty of mistakes, but it's it's so hard to tell if how good or bad a coach is unless they're, like, top tier, you know. Yeah. Do you think that uh, they're giving uh, Brown the fifty million? I think. Yeah, I don't know, man. I not really. I think they're gonna try try to shop around, maybe get Lillard or something like that. Um, okay. Just because I mean Brown was really bad in the playoffs. I mean he had a game here or there, but like just watching him like unable to dribble the ball at certain times was just like um, embarrassing almost. So <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of Celtics fans don't want him back. Um, yeah, I think it was like, what, eight turnovers or something like that? Not, yeah, that game. last game. And a lot of them weren't even like, it was literally just like he couldn't dribble very well. Sorry, on my, uh, in his left hand. And he would just like go to there and it just whoop, fall away. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't think, if I were the Celtics, I don't think I would sign him just because you're such a prominent franchise that, you can get free agents. You can get players want to come to you on trades. And Brown is still a very, um, very hot commodity. Other teams are going to want him. You can get a lot for him. You know, um, I don't know if you can technically trade him if you have to sign him again. But you know, the sign and trade, whatever you got to do, the NBA can do like anything. It seems like to make the deals work. So, when I, it is going to be interesting to see if any deals get made prior to the new CBA that gets enacted because like just reading up a, a little bit on it the certain umbrellas and the caps and things like that i mean there's real punitive damage if they go over the cap by too much yes that's right yeah the new luxury tax stuff um yeah is it going to make it to where teams are going to have more room after this or is it or do you think or is that more no. i think it's i think it's going to be really putting people in a, a jam you okay know, especially teams that have you know heavy people constructed right now yes um yeah. you know phoenix being one of them certainly yeah. uh, uh you know, golden state's like always over the luxury yeah, tax state, yeah sure so yeah. um Interesting. and it's gonna be a, at a certain point i think if they go over a certain amount that they can't you can't sign any minimum uh like any waiver off waiver minimum people uh you can't make you can't sell any of your second round picks for like five years i mean it's crazy stuff in there okay. so yeah, um, definitely. Uh, yeah, we need to study up on that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't. I don't know much about that. I was yeah. first. I was thinking a new TV deal. So I was like, oh, they're gonna get a bunch more money. But yeah, that is not. Well, yeah. That that <laughs> is that is happening. So you would think that that should theoretically balloon yeah. up. So it may be a short term issue for two years, three yeah. years, and then whenever the TV deal, which I think actually is in three years. Okay. Uh, yeah, because that's always like everyone. Yeah, people wait for the TV deal so you can the big the best player can sign for the new hundred million dollar contract or whatever. Yeah, the yeah. the Grizzlies really knocked it out of the park with their Chandler Parsons deal <laughs> when, that, when that money came in last time. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, well, wow. what do you think? What do you think about this series, man? All right, excited? well, let's get into it. I am excited. I'm very excited. Um, as we've already talked, we've got hedges all over the place, and we're going to win money no matter what. In my heart, I'm cheering for the Heat. In my head, it's hard to bet against the Nuggets, man. They have been dominant. Like, I mean, just they, I mean, even in the 4 2 series over the Suns, they just totally dominated them. You know, they won a couple games by like 20 30. Mm -hmm. The Lakers series was closer even though it was a sweep it felt like but again it just 
you know, the, the Nuggets have, they haven't lost a home game yet still. I mean, it's hard to bet against the Nuggets, so I don't think I will. <laughs> yeah, I heard a, uh, I heard a stat today um, that the Heat have not beaten the Nuggets in Denver uh, in seven years. Oh my gosh. Since 2016. Wow. And then on top of that, one more fun fact of trivia, the Miami is the first team since the, I believe it's the 1959 Minnesota Lakers to reach the NBA finals with a negative point differential. Oh my gosh. Wow. Which is now, absolutely fascinating. That is insane. Yeah. Oh man. And just imagine, you know, like they basically, they just turned it on in the playoffs, obviously. Um, yeah. Because even like in the play-in tournament, they were bad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, fourth quarter with like, what, eight minutes to go or whatever, yeah, they were down. down. Um, yeah, they just barely came back against the Bulls. And they got destroyed by the Hawks. Like, Yeah. So, I mean, imagine if – it'd be funny if they had beaten the Hawks and they would have faced the Celtics in the first round instead. You know, it'd be interesting to see how that goes. <laughs> um, yeah. Would it still be the same result? Yeah. And would the, would the Bucks go to the conference finals? You know, who knows? I think with I think without you know Giannis hurting his back, I think we'd be talking about a Denver uh, Denver Bucks finale. Yeah, and that would be fun, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. Um, hey, it's Jimmy point, Bucket season. Exactly. <laughs> and I think one important thing to talk about is you talk about Giannis because like Giannis versus Jokic, um, Bam matches up really well against Giannis. Yeah, I don't think he's going to match up very well against Jokic because Jokic can shoot. I mean, not that Giannis can't shoot. I mean, he really can't shoot very well, but he's obviously more of a driver, um, you know, and just like go past you, dunk it from like the free throw line, you know, just a crazy um, athletic, but not going to hit many threes or anything. Well, and I think to that point, I mean, where Jokic sets up most of the time is at the top of the key where he's yeah. running point. And so, you know, Bam's going to have to bring all the way up there. So, I mean, there's going to be a lot of driving lanes, I think. I think it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting. Yeah, be pretty interesting. I imagine Jokic gets his stats, and also because, like you said, he he plays from the free throw line like that. Um, in this last series, Miami really shut the Celtics down when they went to their zone. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're gonna be able to do that when Jokic is just gonna sit in the middle and pick them apart like that. You know, um, I would imagine, and they're honestly, you know, they've got a couple really good three point shooters that's gonna pick apart the zone. I'd imagine so. Spo's gonna have to come up with something else. I would think. Yeah, I think so. And and to that point, you know, with all those passing lanes and things like that, and you've got great three-point shooters everywhere, uh, looking at Jokic for over on the uh, assist could be, uh, mm -hmm. could be interesting. Yes, and there's a lot of fun, a lot of fun player props out there for his assist, his everything. Um, I can go ahead and tell you, Dylan's pick for tonight, he's riding Jokic for the uh, combo, the points, rebounds, assist combo, which I think is a pretty good yeah. pick. Yeah. I, yeah. I was looking at that as well. Yeah. Um, another thing for just game one is, you know, we got the cliche, the rest versus rust. The Nuggets, you know, the Nuggets could have gone down to Cancun with the Lakers and partied for a week and then got ready <laughs> for the finals if they wanted. Um, <laughs> um, and then, you know, the Heat just got off a pretty crazy seven-game series. They just got game seven. They do get one extra day of rest, but is that going to play into your game one picks? No, I, you know, honestly, I think the fact that it's in Denver, uh, you've got the altitude. I know Miami got there a day early yeah, to get can. used to the altitude, but there is a pretty sobering statistic about teams against the spread um, after a game seven, and yeah. it is very, very rare. Now, you know, to that point, Miami has literally defied odds this whole time, <laughs> so the likelihood that they could do it, you know, another game is entirely possible, so mm -hmm. it's it really is funny. You're kind of running up against what you, you know, think conventionally what will happen. And then it's like, oh, yeah, there's this giant behemoth called Eric Spolstra and Jimmy Butler. Exactly. In Miami company. Yeah. You know, who's not a giant behemoth is Bam. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. During that game seven, I was I was wanting the heat to win. I was watching it with my stepdad. And every time they gave Bam the ball, I was like, stop giving him the ball. He is terrible today. Like he's had his game, but he was he just couldn't make a shot. Yeah. Just like stop shooting it, but obviously it didn't matter. They destroyed him. So, hey, you. I mean, you rode the under. It was Bam under, under Adebayo. Exactly. <laughs> <I like that>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, are you, what? Uh, what are you looking at for your picks? I mean, 
Well, let me pull them up here. So let's start with just series, maybe unofficial. You can make them official if you want. Um, looking at series odds um, with the hedge here. Oh, my God. Look oh, at that. What? Oh, this? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I meant to show it earlier, but this is a little father's, little early Father's Day present from my wife. <laughs> that is great. Great. I feel so... What a bet. That's awesome. <laughs> I feel so bad for you as you look and see like my close up face on that mug. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we can all, uh, maybe we can get it. Yeah, we can, we can make one for everybody with everyone gets their best picture on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a LinkedIn picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I wish, uh, we need to, maybe we'll do another one when we're all wearing the silly hats next time, the next horse race, you know. I love it. I love it. You went for that one, yeah. No, that's good. <laughs> so yes, all right. So I had to show that off. Uh, so thank you, Kelsey, for the early Father's Day present. Um, Shout out, Kelsey. Wanted to get it in before we take our maybe a little summer break here, you know. But all right, back to the series. All right, if you're looking at the actual odds of the series, um, I kind of say this later with Dylan, y'all will hear. But uh, make sure you shop around because on FanDuel. You're going to have better bets, it looks like, on the Heat. And DraftKings kind of has better odds for the Nuggets. So, But the Nuggets, <clears throat> anywhere between about like 425 and minus 460 to win outright, which is just, you know, I, I don't think it's worth taking that. That's just way too high of odds yeah. um, or low, depending on how you say it. Um, the Heat are anywhere between about 3, I think it's like 320-something and 350 on FanDuel. So. He, they're not as high of odds as it was against the Celtics. So um, they are giving them a better chance now. I guess they're finally believing in them a, a little bit. But um, series spread, they've got the series at the Nuggets minus one and a half. So that would be to win in six games. Um, and that's at minus 184. So much better odds, but still not, not great. And the Heat plus one and a half is plus 148. Um and let me give you one more before I uh, ask you what you're thinking. Um, if you look at some alternative series handicaps here, yep. Um, I'm looking at FanDuel. The Nuggets minus two and a half is when you finally get plus money. So if you think the Nuggets are winning in four or five games, you can get that at plus 112. Or you can get the Heat at plus two and a half, which means it just has to go to six games at minus 138. Um so what I kind of like, yeah. what I kind of like is just adding the because yeah, individually the Nuggets minus one and a half doesn't really get you anything. But if you just put that on there and then add it with a couple other, you know, easier bankable parlays, I think you could mm -hmm. end up plus money and you're looking at, mm -hmm. you know, no risk. Maybe like uh, I, maybe parlay that with like a series average for Jokic and buy some yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. A There's a idea. couple other crispier ones that you could look at of for the series, uh, Porter Jr. Mm -hmm. being the threes leader, or if you want to hedge that, you go with uh, Murray to be the threes leader. Yeah, I think I think they're going to get a lot of chances because you know it's going to be all getting to Jokic. Maybe they'll double. I think they might even try to double team Jokic yeah. here and there because I mean Bam's a really good defender. He is underrated on his defense, but. I just don't know if he can stop Jokic by himself. Um, yeah. He can't play 40. I mean, he can't. He's not going to play 48 minutes. So someone else at some point. Um, and I think one thing is that the Heat are small. And so, yeah. I mean, Porter Jr. being 6'10", and he's getting guarded by somebody that's 6'6", six, six, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. that's shoot over all day. Exactly, yeah. Um, seriously. And, like, I don't know if – I don't know who Jimmy's going to guard. Um, it depends on if they're going to save energy or not because – He's probably the best defender after Bam, so maybe you want to put him on Murray, but you also maybe don't want to, like, you know, burn his energy because he's also going to have to be your best scorer, most likely. Um, so I don't know. That's why a lot of the – it's going to be – I think we're going to know a lot more after game one, obviously we will. But I think we'll see, you know, who's guarding who, um, how many minutes are Bam and Jimmy going to play. And, I, think, uh, uh, I think Gordon is going to be pretty much stuck on Jimmy Butler, and okay. I think because of that – looking at maybe the first certainly the first game or even the second game uh jimmy uh points under okay um, that one, so. yeah yeah no yeah because like 
I mean, there's a couple good defenders on the on the Nuggets too. So yeah, for sure. Yeah. Ah uh, man, and they got shooters. I mean, you could even have like Pope could go off. Um, is that right? Caldwell Pope. Yeah, he could go yeah. off. Good good game. The only thing with the Nuggets is if it does go into a long series, maybe that favors the Heat because they don't really use their bench that much. Um, you basically, I mean, they use a couple guys, but really only one guy scores off the bench. Um, so maybe that favors them. Whereas the Heat, you know, it, maybe they'll get Hero back eventually. I don't know if he'll how good he'll be after breaking his wrist, but you know, they've got a couple guys. Uh, you know, they use like they're about three or four guys off the bench that that actually contribute. So yeah, for yeah. sure. And, and it's the Heat are just one of those teams that it's oh, it's this guy's night. Oh, it's yeah. you know yeah. Benson's night. It's you know yeah. Mark. Yeah, one of the scary things. Um, yeah, as a Heat fan, if you're a Heat fan or if you're betting on them, <laughs> um, it's it's like all these guys first time in the championship. So like, you know, is it going to be? Are they going to? You know, are they going to shy down from the moment? Is you know, is Caleb Martin going to keep playing out of his mind? Is Gabe Vincent going to maybe miss a couple shots here and there? You never know. Is Duncan Robinson going to go back to the shell of himself, or is he going to keep shooting? It's you know hard to say. Um, I guess Lowry's no Lowry wasn't with the Raptors. Oh wait. Yeah, he was. Ra- Lowry was with the Raptors, so he's the only guy. And then I guess Bam and Jimmy have a little bit. They've got some guys that, that have the bubble experience, but yeah, Lowry yeah, gonna... only was there with fans. Yeah, yeah. So. that's the truth. Yeah, so I don't know. That's one of those. Yeah, uh, I don't know if I can count. I definitely not game one. I'm not going to count on any of the role players for the Heat to like go over. Um, yeah. I would imagine one or two of them do, do, but I wouldn't be surprised if they all just you know. I'll miss a bunch of shots just because it's, you know, it's, it's very, it's going to be very, very, a lot of anxiety, a lot of nerves running, you know? Yeah. Except- well, and to that point, looking at uh, Caleb Martin's under for his points for the series, I think it set at like 16 and a half and oh, his wow. average, you know, for the season was certainly under that. So uh, you can kind of hedge that. The only issue is if, you know, he scores 27 one game. and then Yeah. Yeah. But with that, I think the under is a safer bet because if yeah. Hero comes back, Hero kind of takes his spot again. Um, yep. Or maybe he'll take Max Struess's spot. But either way, they're going to be – he's going to be less minutes for Caleb Martin. He's, he played like 45 minutes the last couple of games, and that's not yeah. going to happen. Yeah. I think that they'll probably take away some of Duncan Robinson's minutes first. You oh, know, yeah. 10, you know, 11 minutes. That's um, true, yeah go from there it's all a matter of like if he can even go so yeah that's yeah it's gonna be hard i don't know how much how much you're able to practice shooting with a broken wrist and then being you know coming in like game four or whatever of the finals is asking a lot (laughs) yes absolutely yeah no matter who it is but i mean hero's all about you know he's big time he thinks he's big time he's all about the swagger so this would be a chance to show him you know prove himself (laughs) (laughs) so did i say duncan i meant hero Y'all know. <laughs> I was tracking. <laughs> you you know what I meant, whether no matter what. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think. Oh man, I really think the Nuggets are a much better team. But I just, I just, I, I'm not going to bet against Jimmy either. I think the Heat plus two and a half at minus one thirty eight is a really good bet. Um, we, while that's not my official series bet, because our series bet is going to be who wins and how many games. Yeah, I really like, and I'll make a separate page for our random series bets. But I really like. I think I like the Heat plus two and a half. That just feels like really good odds to to just make it to six games. You know, so all you got to do is win like one on the road. Yeah, which they've proven they can. But obviously, the Nuggets haven't lost on the road, so it's going to be a you know a battle. Yeah, no, I can't. I'm, I'm, you know, flipping between Nuggets and six or Nuggets and five. I'm not really sure. It's just, yeah. it's a matter of, you know, does Jimmy have enough in the tank to go supernova, you know, mm-hmm. twice mm-hmm. or three times? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Is he gonna? That's exactly what it is. Is he gonna steal one, or is it just gonna be? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to be each team home holds serve like two to two, you know, each each wins their home court. I, I don't see that happening. But I would be happy if it does. Um, 
and just the heat have been so because the heat are very much it doesn't matter where they're playing you know they're gonna give it they're all they're gonna show up and obviously the nuggets are amazing at home but they lost you know two in a row at phoenix so you never know but you know that's kd and booker are a different story than bam and jimmy (laughs) Yeah, no, nothing gives Jimmy Butler more pleasure than watching away fans go home crying. Yes, yes. He's he like wants to point yeah. out that yeah. a ten-year-old shed a tear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, here's a question for you: um, Is Kayla Martin the Heat's second best player right now? Golly, um, uh, yeah, you got it. You you have to. You got to say yes right now. I think you so. Yeah. Yes. I think there's um, an argument he could have won the conference MVP. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that, I think, yeah, he would, he would almost have it other, other than Jimmy Butler, the first, you know, four games. Cause yeah. the last couple of games, he was not playing very well no, at exactly. all. Yeah. And Caleb played well the whole time. So uh, that's kind of one of those things that, you know, had Jimmy Butler maybe been out one game as opposed to just playing poorly, then he gets it, I think, with Jimmy Butler. So. Um, you know, it's funny. Ever since we talked about the bet between Struess or Caleb Martin to hit the two threes, Caleb Martin has hit, like, three three-pointers every game, and Struess has hit <laughs> maybe one. Like, it was just that. We we called that pretty well. That looks that looks pretty good. <laughs> it's just the the – you know, Austin Reeves a pendulum swing. It is. It is, dude. Him and him and Caleb Martin are good for two threes at least every game. Dude, right. <laughs> but I'm definitely not gonna put that in my game one pick because I, no. I didn't, you, can't, you can't trust a a guy who's never been to the finals like this or never played big minutes. I'm, I'm excited because I got a I got a bullseye on Martin's back. Oh no. Game one. <laughs> I'm tempting fate. I'm doing it. I don't care. All right. Well. Let's see here. We got um, all right. We've given, I think we've given enough kind of series picks here. Unless, do you have any series props, player props you want to talk about? Um, not off the top of my head. Of uh, other than the series props of uh, Murray or Porter Jr. being the threes leader, I think one of those two. Uh, look and see whichever one you know the um y'all want to choose first. Um, those are great. And then also just having Jokic over his total points, rebounds, and assists for the series. Um, okay. You know, if it's – because I think he's going to hit 53 pretty consistently. So him being at, you know, uh, 51 and a half, I believe it is right now, um, just take the over and just expect mm-hmm. for uh, finals MVP. And to that point, go ahead and add – I know he's like net minus three hundred, but just to add Jokic at Finals MVP, yeah, on top of whatever you're doing. That's definitely if you're gonna pick the Nuggets to win it, you might as well just do that instead because you'll get better yeah. odds. Because like no yeah. way are they gonna win with like Murray being the MVP. Yeah, exactly. It's like just throw it on to cap it. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that makes sense. That's a good point. Um, We've only got a couple minutes here, so I don't want to rush our official picks for tonight. So let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the official Game 1 picks. Welcome back. Thank you all for staying with us on The Hedge with Double D. The Hedge with Double D. (laughs) That cup keeps looking better and better. Showing up. We might have to open a little merch store at some point. (laughs) <laughs> um so yes thank you all for stick sticking with us here it's time we're gonna make official bets for tonight game one let's go um let's go. i'm excited so i'm gonna go first um i'm on FanDuel this time uh normally we've been riding the draft kings no sweat same game parlay but they're not there right now so i don't know but FanDuel has it. They're covering us with the no sweat parlay. So, you know, we're jumping on that. Um, If you are going to do this on FanDuel, it's got to be over 400 odds and at least three legs. So just something to think about. Um, So mine, I'm riding with the Nuggets. Like Colin mentioned, there's a um, a lot of stats that tell you that teams after game seven do not play well in the next game. Um, And especially since they're traveling to Colorado, you got the altitude difference. The Nuggets have just been dominant at home. I think it's all a recipe for the Nuggets to cover the spread at minus nine. 
Um, so I'm going to keep that minus nine spread on the Nuggets. And with that in mind, I'm going to keep riding the Bam under. Um, I think he's going to spend a lot of energy guarding Jokic, which means maybe he won't be able to spend as much um, on offense. Or maybe they just won't ask him to spend as much on offense. Um, and if they learn anything from game seven and me yelling at the TV, maybe they could just stop passing it to him down low um, and let let other people shoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've got Bam under 16 and a half. Um, and then I've got Murray over 25 and a half. So um, I'm not buying or selling any points this time because I got to get over that plus 400, which I don't normally do. But we'll see if this works out for me. I like it. Um, so again, Nuggets minus nine, Jamal Murray over 25 and a half points, um, and Bam under 16 and a half. That will give you a 441 same game parlay. I love it. All right. So I'll add that to the list. Colin, what are you thinking for tonight? And how confident are you? Man, I we're we're attached at the hip. You know, we're we're either gonna drown together or we're gonna float to safety. Uh I'm right with you on the 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 nuggets um spread. I was looking at actually alternate spreads. There's one that's minus nine and a half, which is just basically beat about one more extra point, and that's plus one hundred. Uh so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna do two bets. Uh, I'm going to do a uh, two game or a two way parlay and then a single bet. Um, so two way parlay is uh, I'm riding uh, Martin under six and a half rebounds. As well as the Nuggets minus nine. So that that gets me a plus 254. All right. That's pretty good odds for that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I just think that with, you know, my, I mean, it, to put it simply, Miami is a heck of a lot shorter than Denver. In Denver, you've got a lot of good rebounders, whether that's obviously Jokic, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, and then Bruce Brown can, you know, fly in and uh, grab some rebounds as well whenever he's, whenever he's in. Um, so uh, if you actually look at the uh, under minus, uh, six and a half, excuse me, rebounds. It's plus one fourteen. So just already alone, you've got plus money. Okay. Um, but I'm combining it with that one, and then I'll go ahead and um, take uh, the Nuggets alternate minus nine and a half at plus one hundred. So okay, so we got an alt Nuggets minus yeah. nine and a half. All right, all right. So we're hoping the Nuggets win by double digits here. Um, that will cover a couple legs and then it'll hit a straight bet for us. So that would be very nice. Um, I like it, man. I feel like, I mean, the Nuggets have been so dominant at home. That feels like a safe bet, you know? Yeah. Um, now the Heat have, you know, they beat the Bucks and the Celtics at home game one. But um, I don't know. It seems like different different teams, different times. The finals too. Like, we've mentioned, mentioned this a lot, but I'd be surprised if <clears throat> Kayla Martin, Gabe Vincent, you know, Max Struess, if they, if any of them go off for the game one finals, that'd surprise me. Yeah, I think it's, I think this one is going to be a little bit more of a, you know, blowout, much more than the second game will yes. be a lot closer. So I think looking at the Miami's plus points uh, for game two, whatever the line ends up being, I think that may be pretty crispy because um, I think it's going to be, a, I think it's going to be close game two. But yeah. All right, man. Oh, you know what? I've got one more bet we're going to add in there. Forgot. Oh, yes. Like we talked about the DraftKings special. So uh, on DraftKings, they've got a little special. I'll pull it up here. Um, It's called the Superstar Super Boost. So we got uh, Jokic to score 25 and Butler to score 20 points has been boosted from minus 150 to plus 100. So much better odds Easy there. Money. It feels like it, man, which is always scary. But I'm gonna put a put a little unit on there. Um, yeah. Hopefully, get ten dollars. You know, win that ten dollars to cover the to cover any other losses. Um, I like it. But I, I like it too, man. It seems like I, I feel like Butler's gonna have to get twenty points the game one. I'm, you know, and then Jokic Jokic seems like he gets twenty five points. You know, for breakfast. So. Right. Yeah. So um, let me add that to the sheet also, and then um, I think those are our official picks for tonight.
So let's go. Um, be looking out. We'll put out a little, uh, we're going to try to get into the YouTube shorts, the Facebook reels realm, you know, um, and we're going to be putting out our official series picks for the NBA finals and the NHL finals also. So we'll be telling you who we like for the full series and how many games we think it's going to go. So be on the lookout for that too. Rock and roll. Colin, thank you for joining me, sir. Thank you for having me. Let's have some fun. Uh, hedge those bets. Let's make some money. Hedge those bets. Patrick Cantlay Memorial Tournament plus 2100. Oh, okay. Um, and there's also, <laughs> there's also an 18% boost on DraftKings if you want to bump that up another 18%. Bump it up. Bump, bump it, it up. Oh, also, I think tomorrow I'm going to come out with a special French Open, uh, a short little French Open video. So we'll see who joins me on that. But I'll be on the lookout oh. for a little tennis talk. Rock and roll. All right. Oh, all right. So we got a lot, lot over here. Let's go, baby. We got we got <laughs> hockey. Sorry. We got hockey, basketball, tennis, golf, everything. I can't wait for the underwater basket weaving. I'm gonna be clutch at that. <laughs> we missed the the cheese, the rolling the cheese down the wheel. So we'll have to get that next year. Yeah, Canadian won it. Was not gonna expect that. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> all right. Well, cheers, y'all. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. All right, welcome back to The Hedge with Double D. Thank you for staying with me. The Hedge with Double D. All right, we've got Dylan. Dylan's joining us today for our Game 1 picks for the NBA Finals. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot of time, so I'm going to let him tell us what he's thinking, what he's feeling, and then give his official picks for tonight. Dylan, thank you for joining me. How's it going? Yeah, bro. Oh, man, it's good. I've uh, been busy today, uh, but I'm super excited about this series. Uh, so, yeah, um, man, you know, the Heat, you know, I know we hadn't talked, but the Heat really showed up. Hey, bonus bet, right? Yeah, baby, we still got that plus Minus 1500 one going. <laughs> yeah, and we got the plus 1500, and we took the Heat series, too, yeah, I remember. We got the, yeah, so we got the series bet at minus 170, so that ended up cashing in. So, yeah. Hey, man, it's good to be making money. I was a little, I was sweating, man. I was a little, a little nervous. I know. Um, I was talking to Tony on the last one about how crazy the narrative is going to change from Jimmy Butler being like, you know, the next Michael Jordan in the playoffs to having the most epic choke job in NBA history if they had lost that game. Uh, yeah, I mean, it would have been a definitely a different storyline. Um, but we're here. Um, and I'll just, I mean, this series, man, is going to be, um, you know, it's going to be fun to watch, of course. I mean, it's the finals. I mean, it don't matter who's there. It's still, you know, do or die here. Um yeah, you know, the Heat obviously are coming in. I think as an underdog. Um, I don't know what the series. Do you have the series odds? Yes. Yeah, so, um, on Fanduel, you're going to get better odds on the Heat on Fanduel at plus three fifty. Um, the Nuggets are minus four sixty, but on DraftKings you can get them at like minus four twenty, minus four twenty five. So, shop around yeah. depending on who you're looking at. But yeah, definitely a big time favorite on the Nuggets. Yeah, and I mean that makes sense. I mean. Again, though, I mean, it's it's concerning. It's not concerning. It's it's it's. I don't think it's guaranteed that the Nuggets are going to win this series. Um, you know, the, the Heat have played a very tested. You know, been very tested in the playoffs, going through the Bucks, going through the Celtics. Um, you know, took a little break, I guess. You know, with the, the Knicks, in my opinion, of, of the toughness scale, yeah. uh, but still a tough opponent. Um, and where the Nuggets have been kind of coasting, um, I think a little more. Um, yeah. I, I you know the Lakers. Didn't push them very much. Uh, you know, they uh, – I'm trying to remember who they played second round. It's slipping. It was second round. They beat the Suns 4-2 and, like, pretty convincingly. Yeah, so, that, I mean, that's a convincing – and, honestly, the Suns, I thought, was the biggest threat yeah. there with, you know, KD and, and Booker. So, um, coming into this series, I mean, I think it's I think it's going to be a nugget series. I think it's their year. Uh, you know, I, I would lean. I mean, minus four sixty doesn't give you any value. I don't think necessarily. Let me let, let me <laughs> minus. Let me tell you what it is at minus one and a half, minus two and a half. If you want to take that, and not you know not officially, but just talking about it right yeah. now. The Nuggets minus one and a half is between like one seventy five and one eighty four, depending on where you're looking, and then minus two oh, and a half is plus one twelve. So. Yeah, I mean, I take that Nuggets minus one, or you know, is that to then to have a you know a two game win, like win the series by two games or more? Yeah, so yeah, minus two and a half would be to win it in five, and then one and a half would be to win it in six. So, 
Okay. Well, I mean, if, if, if we're going to make a pick on the series, go ahead and give me the Nuggets at six. Um, you know, I do like them here. Uh, I like them in five or six. Uh, I think that the Heat uh, can get a game here or there, maybe at home. Um, you know, it's going to be a long travel, uh, you know, distance for the Nuggets coming from Colorado um, and back. So a lot of flying. But they do have these games spaced out a little bit more than some of the other. Yeah. yeah. So – days between the first two games i'm pretty sure and then you know travel dates and and they just right. have like what they have like a week off you know from... yeah yeah they've been chilling i mean i mean yeah. they've been i mean hopefully they didn't hit the slopes and go snowboarding and get injured because <laughs> they've been on vacation for a week watching uh this other series um but yeah I, you know this is uh you know in my opinion this is the year of the joker um the year that he really uh becomes the you know, superstar guy that the Nuggets were always building around and shows him that, hey, we're going to get this championship this year. So um, as far as the game tonight, um, spread, that, I think, minus nine. Is that still yeah, close? Yeah, that's what I thought. Minus nine, which is. Uh, you know what? Give him, give me that. I mean, uh, I, I'm not going to officially pick that, but I am going to lean towards the Nuggets by, you know, 14 to 15 points, you know, maybe more. Um, I just think the Heat come in tired. Then they're on the road. Mm-hmm. Nuggets well-rested. Um, you know, home crowd. I mean, Denver, I, I don't know the last championship. Um, Denver, you know, they're they're they got a good sports tradition with the Broncos and yeah. um yeah, just trying to think, you know, Avalanche, Colorado Avalanche, I know I've made some runs and yeah. I, I don't know. This is I think this is the Nuggets first time there. Yeah, oh for sure. So I would imagine the Avs the Avalanche have been there recently because they're good, but I, I couldn't I don't know hockey that well. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm just saying, I know Denver's a great sports town. Um, so I think the fans come out tonight, of course, first uh, NBA championship uh, opportunity for the Nuggets. Um, so uh, I, I would lean towards that spread. Um, my pick tonight, though, I'm going to go ahead and jump on the Joker combo. Um, so officially, I got it at 51 and a half. Um, you know, let's see what he does on some rest. Um, I don't think that the Heat are going to be able to match up. Um, as well with him. I mean, I just don't know who's going to guard him. I mean, I guess they put Bam on him. Um, you know, does, like, I mean, who else do they have? I mean, seriously. I mean, unless they pull out, you know, Udonis Haslam. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Udonis out there with that phony. <laughs> um, just to tackle oh, I love Udonis. <laughs> yeah, tackle him. Is Andre Iguodala, like, going to sign with him? <laughs> as like, a, you know, like, um, you know, I think Bam, I think Bam will, you there. know, just not be enough. Um, yeah. And he's got to do it both ways for the Heat. So he's going to have to be scoring. Um, I, I just I just see, hey, you know, Jamal Murray or, or whoever brings it down, get the ball to Joker, bring Bam up. Joker says, hey, uh, you're not going to give me the, you know, you're, you're going to give me the shot. I'll take the shot. You're going to give me the passing lanes. There's going to be cutters. He's going to be getting points and assists all night. And, you know, he's got the size on, on Bam a little bit, I think. Um, so I think he gets his rebounds as well. Um, so anyway, that's my official pick, um, 51 and a half over on the combo. Um, and, you know, I, I do like this series in six. Um, so if you want to add that to the sheet, um, Nuggets in six um, on that minus one and a half. Um, you know, I, I, I could throw that down as well. But uh, I'm excited, bro. Uh, I think, hey, you're coming over tonight. Watch the game with me. Yeah, dude, we're going to be watching it tonight. Maybe we'll even make like a live watch along video <laughs> during halftime or something. Who knows? Hey, maybe we'll do a quick breakdown, you know. We, we, we can hopefully be, well, hopefully be happy uh, with the result. I know you're doing your picks later, but, um, you know, we'll, uh, I'm definitely excited to see what you guys put together. Um, and, uh, yeah, man, I do appreciate you You let me come on and, and do a quick one with you. I know it's uh, not always easy to find the right time with this kind of stuff, but glad to make it happen with you. Hey, man, thank you for joining me. You know, it's all for the fans, you know. Yeah, of course, man. I love doing it. I mean, I got to, hey, this is it. This is the finals. Um, I'm super excited about these. And um, I think after tonight, I'm going to have a lot more confidence um, in my next picks because I'm just not sure what to expect. But tonight, just ride with that. And that's why I'm saying officially I'm not going to ride with the spread tonight, um, even though I would lean to take the Nuggets to just, you know, take care of business and cover. But, um, yeah, man, I am excited to see Joker come out and, and see what he does in this series. So it should be a good one. Nice. Yeah. No, I, I completely agree. I I might stay with him to stay away from the spread too, because it's just the the Heat seem to come out and surprise us every game one. So I, I I'm a, I'm afraid to pick against them, but my heart and my head tells me you know the Nuggets might destroy them. But 
Well, we'll see, man. I mean, it's hard to pick against the Heat, but I mean, hey, you know what they call the they call it the hedge for a reason, Dawson. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Is that the coffee cup? They call it the hedge, they call it the hedge with double D. Hedge. <laughs> that is great. I need to give you one of those. I need to give you. We got. We got to have to get that. I'm gonna up. get me a custom one. Yeah, we'll get the official merch store open here. I, we're, you know, hey, you know, it's gonna be coming. You know, we gotta, we gotta get uh, get those hedge things going. Uh, the, the coffee cup's a good start. Hey, I wanted to tell you too, man. Um, speaking of hedge, um, you know, I know you're riding that plus fifteen hundred. Um, you go hedge at all? Okay. Um, also, you on one of my earlier videos, I did put it in there. I have already hedged. Uh, when the Heat were up three one, I went ahead and took an exact result nuggets over heat and put 40 bucks on it. So no matter who wins, we're either, if you take away the 40, we'll make 110 if the heat win and about 60 bucks if the nuggets win. So it's probably you hedge, baby. <laughs> tell you hedge, baby. Well, hey, brother, I really appreciate it. I do got to jump up here and uh, get back to it, but um, I appreciate you having me, man. Of course, man. I'm glad you came. I'll see you tonight. All right, brother. See ya.